The Killis border crossing. For tens of thousands, this is the official way in and out of Turkey from Syria. But if you're an ISIS fighter, Killis is not an option. Abu Mustafa, who doesn't want to show his face or give his real name, is a Syrian people smuggler. He says he's helped hundreds of ISIS fighters get into Syria. He's also brought militants, some of them injured, back out. He took us to the spot where the smuggling happens, he says, several times a day. It didn't take long to see it in action. The car sped to the border and dropped off six men carrying bags. It then rushes off and the men approach the fence. We can't tell if these are fighters or Syrians without passports, but they're illegally crossing into Syria. Moments later, more people appear at the border. This time, the Turkish military police turn up and chase one man along the fence. And the reward for taking such a risk? Abu Mustafa charges just 15 pounds per fighter. Last time they caught three people. There were seven in total trying to get across, among them Turks and Arabs. But the three that got caught were foreigners. They spoke English and the police took them away. They often cross with their families, their wives and children. They tell us we're coming to fight for Islamic State and live there. Some of them don't even know where they're going. They just say, we're going to the Islamic State. And there are plenty of them. Abu Ahmed fought with ISIS for 10 months in northwest Syria. He says he's now left the group and is in hiding, but that foreign fighters are still joining. They go to Syria to be martyred. They say their former lives are over and there is no going back. Most of them rip up and throw away their passports when they arrive. Abu Ahmed also thinks US-led airstrikes against ISIS is backfiring, bringing extremist groups closer together. After the recent airstrikes, more fighters are joining ISIS, like the Nusra Front. I know some of them who have joined. You can't destroy ISIS. It had no effect in Iraq. What's the solution? Only God knows. The effects of Syria's war spilling over into Turkey are visible everywhere. Some are making a living out of the situation, doing whatever they can to get by. As the war drags on and military campaign intensifies, dismantling this network becomes increasingly difficult.